So for most comments, I just respond in a comment, but comments come along where they're so good. It's such a good, either good question or good point that I make a video. And usually when it's a question, this is a question, so I think it's, um, and I think this is something important. Uh, it was left by you to Christ. Somebody who, have, if you haven't seen his videos, check out his videos. <laughs> if you haven't subbed to his channel, sub to his channel. Um, you'll even find some videos of me on there, or at least of me in dialogue with him on there, which um, I, I can't say how good his channel is. It's just awesome. Um, but he, he wrote this, and I feel the same thing. He said, I was shocked to see Catholics and Orthodox who try to fight evolution. I wonder if it is because it is easy for us to us as a uh, convert from outside the Christian tradition to reconcile our faith with science and reason and it is hard for a Christian who is born into a Christian family to do such a thing. Um, uh, I don't know if it's that. Um, what I think it is, is the backwash, the poison of Protestantism. Uh, because the evangelicals and the Protestants consider nobody Christian, right? As, as, as the Catholics or Orthodox, Catholics and Orthodox naturally say, oh, I mean, I know a bunch of Catholics who maybe aren't so much into their faith or whatever who will say this, and it definitely is close for Orthodox and many Catholics. Oh, yeah, you're Christian, I'm Christian too, or you believe in Jesus, so do I. Oh, that's cool, you know? And they many times they don't know um, just how hostile Protestantism is towards us, and that they think that we're we're the worst thing that ever happened. Uh, that 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 there's there's no salvation for us. That we're the most abominable, we're the whore of Babylon, the Antichrist, or something like that. So without knowing, they get this like backwash. I mean, I saw the creators of South Park. They had something on teaching evolution in school, and it was a Catholic family complaining about teaching evolution in school. I'm like, how do people not know that? And I think many Catholics don't know that. Or I mean, I've talked with Catholics who don't, who who will like fight um, evolution when their pope, when popes now multiple have said this is definite. You know. I mean, this was given in, like, uh, in Sicklo, it was given in a speech, and this is definitive what the Pope said, um, that it's, it's, it's not a theory, it's not just a theory or just a hypothesis, it's, it's the best explanation for, you know, best naturalistic explanation for life on this earth. It doesn't address, um, biogenesis or anything like that, evolution's not supposed to. It just talks about the transition in the development of life. Um, I heard one person who's Orthodox say, I don't believe in the fall because there is evolution. And the analogy of a fallen world, and again, I people who see these clash or think they have to cancel out one for the other, it seems silly to us. Um, but I think it's... Because these evangelicals, like I said, they think that we're just horrible. They they go to Russia, they go to Greece, they go to, uh, which is the biggest horror, they go to Lebanon and Syria and Palestine. And they'll cause commotion by trying to evangelize the Muslims. And then when they leave, the indigenous Christians get killed and their churches get bombed. And these people go home without ever knowing of whatever, whatever horrors that they caused to happen. And think, oh, well, we did a good thing and we brought the word of God to those people. Those people were evangelized by Peter and Paul. They don't need, I mean, uh, evangelicals, they're children. They're, they're children. They really are. In, in their intellect, in the, their, the way they do things, they're not, there's nothing responsible or adult. They're, they're, um, they're juvenile. And they, they kind of act like children. If you've been to their churches, they, they really do. It's, Hey, we're happy, and it, it, it's like it, it, that has nothing to do with Christianity. Um, they they really don't get it. it. It's 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 really naive. They haven't had thousands of years to. I mean, what persecutions have the evangelicals been in? None. How many martyrs do they have? What a few people, maybe. 
I mean, it, it's a very juvenile, childish thing. And the church is not juvenile, and the church is not childish. But it's this backwash, because they've gone to these places, and they oh, well, this isn't contradicting us, this and that. And they don't, I don't think the evangelicals and the orthodox, the vast majority of them, the lay people, don't know. And maybe, I mean, some of the clergy might not understand this, how, what, uh, how, um, how bad the uh, the uh, Protestants and the evangelicals think of us, and what how they think we're so vile and and, and, and evil, and uh, it's sad. It really is sad. When did science ever try to? I mean, people. Oh, science disproves God. When I hear that from atheists. I'm just like you're not you're not rational. When did when did science try to address? I mean, supernatural supernatural by definition, science can't touch it. Science is only involved in what can be studied and analyzed and quantified, which is not the spiritual. So yeah, it's it's silly. Um, I think it's from the backflow of uh, of of the Protestants when they went to evangelize all these countries that didn't need any evangelizing, that were in many cases almost 100% Christian. And if they weren't, the people who were atheists definitely grew up in Christianity, so they already made their choice. Um, maybe if I sued it to them a different way, maybe they weren't brought into it, and you need to do it with Buddy Holly glasses and, and a flannel shirt and, you know, uh, skinny jeans, you know, and he's a hip dude, and, uh, God, I'm crazy. I think you're right, though, because um, on, on one level, it's because it, when we came, when we come to the church, we actually have to actively learn what it's about, and not sit through just some CCD class and, and, and you know, not care. Um, so it's important to us, especially if we're coming out of what me and New to Christ came out of. It's very precious to us. It's it's a it's a it's a gem. It's a jewel that maybe people who are born into it don't realize how important it is. Um, but yeah, I think that great comment, great thing to bring up, great question to ask. Um, I'd like to hear everybody else's, uh, views on this. Um, but yeah, uh, new to Christ, if you haven't checked out his channel, check him out. Great channel. Um, all right, peace to you. We got to Serbia, Syria, and Ireland.